Hey Diamond Painting friends, Jessica here with Tiny Worlds of Wonder, stopping in to share another fabulous Distracted by Diamonds release. I'm gonna get this out of the box and let's take a look. Okay guys, I decided I'm gonna take a little bit of a different approach to today's reveal video, mostly because I have no self-control. So this canvas came on Saturday. Normally I'd wait till my filming day on Wednesday. I take it all out of the box when it's brand new and fresh for you and show you. But by Sunday morning, I was sticking drills to this canvas like the apocalypse was coming. I could not wait. I'm so excited about this canvas. Oh my gosh. So before I started, I took some video of what the components look like brand new so that I could show you. Now, this piece is called Swans. The artist is Frank William Brangwen. He lived from 1867 to 1956. He was a Welsh artist. My favorite thing about him is that he actually taught himself to do art or largely taught himself. And today he's a very famous artist. He produced over 12,000 works of art during his lifetime, including oil paintings, mixed media, etchings, wood engravings, lithographs. He did murals, architectural designs. So think along the vein of William Morris, if you're a William Morris fan. Now, this piece of art was something I was in love with from the moment I saw it. It has such a peaceful, calm vibe, and the colors are just beautiful. So, like I said, I did not wait to start. <laughs> I'm gonna show you my messy bags of drills. It did not come this way. I'm gonna show you some drills on the canvas, but let's take a peek. Oh my gosh. Now you guys, this is a big one. <laughs> this is, 62 by 72 round with a b's this has 40 colors there's no way i'm getting this all on camera at once it is enormous so as always i can't even sit up to my table right now <laughs> this is so big i can't even fit at my table with the canvas let's see if i can Get some glare off that so you can see it. Oh my word. So, of course, I wanted to show you the work I've done so far. I did some swans here, and then I started a couple flowers with ABs. I'll take you in closer, because I wanted you to be able to see those ABs. Now, this came with all the standard Distracted by Diamonds components, the inventory sheet with the, the really cool blurb by Robin telling about Distracted by Diamonds and her company, and then the standard toolkit, which I've already beat up a bit, and then, of course, the drills. Now, because this is an AB canvas, this did not come with pre-bag drills. It came with cellophane wrap drills. That's how all the AB canvases come. But let me dump out some stuff. I'll show you some colors. Now, before I get too far, as required by the FTC, I have to tell you that I work on a limited basis with Distracted by Diamonds, working on licensing, nothing else, just the licensing. So as you can see, our color palette is quite muted, which makes a lot of sense for this piece. We have a lot of our nice dark shadow colors. I'll show you some that are still in baggies and some that aren't. So we have 318, a bit of 310. I think I have an open bag of 310 here as well somewhere. Some 3371, which is the dark brown. We have, there's some more 939. So those are all of our shadow colors, of course. Then, oh my gosh, some greens. I love kind of these evergreen shades. This is 935. Love. 938 is another shade of brown. Some of our brown purple family. All those colors make a lot of sense in this context. Some more of that beautiful evergreen color. I love, I love greens. <laughs> then we have some sort of maroon shades. Now, these bags did not come in my kit. I just had some of these resealable bags. Usually I kit up my 
drills in containers, but I wanted to do something quick since, since I couldn't wait to start on this one. More of those shaded colors. My favorite colors in this canvas are the oranges. I'm a fan of orange, not in my apparel, not in every context, but definitely in artwork. I think orange is such a nice pop and this is gonna have so much beautiful orange in it. Then we have some blues, which is, I assume gonna be the shading on our swans. That makes a lot of sense some highlight colors, some grays, of course, probably also the shading on our swans. And then, of course, these fabulous ABs. And I'll show you in just a second where these go. All in all, a really beautiful color palette. I think one of my favorite color palettes, these really regal, muted colors. I just love them. I love them. If you are a lover of fine art pieces or you just love really beautiful landscapes, I think you're gonna love this piece. Here's the bottom half. Like I said, it's way too big to get in my camera. It is ginormous, it's gonna be so much fun. Of course, I'll take you out for a long view here in a little bit. Do you see how many beautiful flowers we have going on here? Now, the best part of this canvas, I think, is that the designer added some ABs, not an overwhelming number, but just a really nice touch of them. They're gonna be red, 666. And then there's just a little touch of 701, these beautiful green drills. And those are gonna be placed in the flowers. So this bright green symbol all over is gonna be obviously the green AB drill. And then we're gonna have some of the red ABs in the flowers here. So, isn't that just stunning? Oh my goodness. I do have terrible glare here today, you guys. I'm sorry. So, like I said, I wanted to be able to work on this for one. My motives were selfish at first because I just, I just wanted to do the canvas. But then I was like, I bet my viewers would actually really enjoy seeing how beautifully shaded some of these areas are gonna be. I had to bag up just to do the two heads of these swans and then just a couple of AB drills at the top. I had to bag up a tremendous number of colors just to get that far. So if you are a lover of confetti and some more complicated diamond paintings, again, this one is definitely for you. The best thing about diamond paintings though is that you're just following directions. So of course a beginner can tackle a large canvas like this. My first canvas was a 55 by 50 by 65 and it was a ton of confetti and it was what hooked me. So sometimes it's the outcome that we live for, right? Oh my goodness. I am in love with this canvas. I'm in love, and because I've actually set some drills on this one, I can tell that the quality is fantastic. The only issue I had when I was working on this last night late was similar to the Space Letterman 2 where some of the symbols are a bit faint. Today in the daylight, I'm not having any trouble reading those, so I think it was a matter of my poor lighting last night, but you might wanna know that this is probably a good light pad piece. I just cannot get enough of it. I cannot get enough of it. It's so beautiful. I hope you guys here in the US have an absolutely fantastic Thanksgiving week. For everyone else, just have a fantastic week. Of course, stay safe. Remember your social distancing because I care about all of you. This is a really crazy time. It's a really hard time but I know that we can get through it together. Now next week, I will not have a video because my immediate family are gonna be hanging out here at the house together all week, so I won't be filming, but I hope you have a fantastic week. I'll take you out for a long view of this canvas now. As always, spread some joy wherever you are, and I'll catch you next time. Bye.